If you send out your emails using HTML formatting um, as well as text or instead of text, then you're able to track the open rates. And what you'll find is, you know, whether you've got 10% open rate or 20% open rate, it means there's still a massive um, number of people who are not actually opening your emails. So what you can do is segment those people into a separate sublist and then send them a follow-up email, maybe change the subject line to try and grab their attention if the previous one didn't work too well, and send it only to that group without resending the same email to the original group that have already read it and they're going to get annoyed that you're sending too many emails and getting them to, you know, to, to look at something that they've already looked at. And the way you can do this is um, in your Aweber account, and imagine that it's the same kind of uh, options available for one shopping cart and get response and the other big emailing lists. But uh, I'll show you how to do it in Aweber. Is that if you go to subscribers and then to search, um, it brings up this page here. And what you want to do is then click on the select field and move down to message not opened. So you click on that and then you click on the next field and what you can do is you pick one of your messages from either one of the follow-ups or from the broadcasts so I'm going to pick one from the broadcasts I'm going to pick the uh, um, this one here where it says um, first name this is just in urgent pick that and then I press search and what that's doing is bringing back the people on that particular mailing list that didn't open. So if you've got a number of mailing lists, it's going to um, be different results for each. So at the moment, see, we've got um, on the CF coaching, we've got um, 2,229 that didn't open this one. And what you'd want to do is then repeat that for other big mailing lists you've got and segment them all out. Um, once you've created a segment, you just need to save it away so you can then refer to it when you uh, when you send out your mailings again. So we're just going to say CF coaching not opened and then call it uh, demo. And press save. And then if you switch to one of your other mailing lists, see all these other ones here, then you, you can uh, do the same again for, for the other big mailing lists you probably won't want to do it for all your smaller ones um, but just just you know the, the ones that you've got say over 1,000 subscribers on just just do it for each of those um, so that's the segment saved then all you need to do is when you come to do a broadcast so if we go to messages and then broadcast and we created a, a broadcast message we can put in our subject line here, test, test message, test, uh, just for the sake of the demo. Then the move down, and what we're going to do is we've got the send immediately or send later, and then underneath that it says send to segment. So if we click on that, we can then go down and pick CF coaching not opened demo. Just pick that. Um, so that would only go out to people within that segment and people that had already opened your email wouldn't um, be receiving it. Um, and of course you can click and include other lists as well. If you want to send out the same email to other segments that haven't opened it on other lists you've got, you would need to send it out multiple times. Um, because when you do an include or exclude of other lists within Aweber, it's actually picking up all the um, the subscribers off the uh, other lists rather than ones that have been segmented in the same way as you've just segmented this list. So it does take a little bit of extra work, but it's absolutely worth doing because it's the second opportunity to send out an email to the people who didn't actually open the first one without annoying the ones who have already opened your message and read it. And um, what one final thing I'd like to show you, if go back and look at the um, subscribers again, do a search. You can actually, um, 
as well as say picking ones that didn't open your email you can pick ones that where they didn't act, they, they opened the email but for whatever reason they didn't click on the link contained within the email so it's like you know they almost went there they, they, they started to read what you had to say um, but for whatever reason didn't click the link and remember it's getting them to click the links the most important part here um, let the sales page do the work so maybe the text on your email wasn't particularly enticing enough and you'd want to reword it and send out another opportunity to just try and get them to click that link so if you pick link not clicked as a um, and then go to broadcasts and then if we go to this one which was this just in urgent sent on and then we can pick the actual link that's you know nobody clicked on that or, or I want to find the people who didn't click on that particular link we do a search and then it will bring up the, the um, p people for that and we can save that as another CF coaching um, not clicked link and we save that as a segment and then we can go back and send emails only to that segment so I highly recommend you make use of the uh, the not opens and the not clicked just in order to get you know double triple the exposure uh, without annoying the other people on your list really really recommend this